Hi guys, it's Moz here, and today on the workbench, I'm going to be building this Aichi D381 Val from FX. It's a vintage classic release this year.
Well, there you are. That's it built. I was quite impressed, actually, because I, as you can see, I put it together and I didn't need a lot of filler. And any filling that I did do, I used my standard Mr. Hobby, Mr. Dissolve Putty and uh, give it a good sand down. Very, very good kit, to be fair, for the age. As you can, you know, it was toured in 1965. You know, what are you expecting? But yeah, it went together really well. I thoroughly enjoyed using lacquer paints. So I was using the LP55, which was the dark yellow. Now, in the instructions, it's telling you to use the satin hemp. But I, you know... You tell me what you think. I think this colour is pretty good. You know, it's yeah, it's always a it's called dark yellow, but it's like a dirty yellow. Um, on the box art itself, you know, as it is going by the box art, you know, it's is white, and on the side you've got that colour. And if you mix it with that colour, I don't think it's it's not bad, is it? You know what I mean? Going by this, it's a little bit lighter. But if I was doing it from here, the Dark Yellow 2, it's called Dark Yellow 2, LP55. Or if you want the, um, just a normal acrylic, it's XF88 Dark Yellow 2. Um, I think that's a pretty good match. Uh, the decals went down absolutely lovely, but then it's cart graph. I'm not too sure about the front here on the, on the, on the wheels here, on the, you know, you know, that's, that's the decal there. And so they've got these cuts, cutouts at the end. So I just done it like that. I just, you know, bent them around and let them be, let them sit like this, because it's supposed to go in the centre. But they went down really well, really flat. The uh, audio underneath went well. There's the uh, um, the hook there for um, when they come to land on, uh, you know, on a ship, aircraft carrier. Um, I filled this in by mistake. <laughs> All I did was it was like a little tea piece so i cut the tea piece off and uh and just drilled a hole and glued it in and i think it looks a bit better and it's supposed to move i think that was the idea but i couldn't be asked of all that i think the idea was was you, you push it in and twist and it would just hang but i've just drilled a hole and um you know to cut the little tea bit off and put it on and then just use a i've just put it down at a slight angle other than that you know nothing much else to report on this one really it just went down well um, in, I used the LP5, which was the semi-gloss black on on the engine cover there, um, and I and I used Gunmetal um, 53 for the engine, and then I also used the silver, which I think is it that one? No, I'm trying to find what I've done with the silver here. I got the silver here somewhere, but I used the Gen 2. Uh, Humbro silver on the propeller and I used and I used the uh, silver on this bomb as well basically but everything else went through absolutely fine now a couple of instances like I was saying on the on the actual call out sheet they're saying that there's the solid black lines but obviously they're not you know going by this they're not solid black lines now um, one side you've got the engine looking like that so They've got the cover looking black. But then down here, you've got like this curved bit. I thought sod that, I'll just stick with that. So it was up to you. I think you could do two different ways if you want. You could also, you know, if you wanted to um, paint in the little notches there. But other than that, not much else to report on this kit. I was, I was a lovely little kit, you know. Over, you know, doing it overnight. It probably took about five nights. Um, the beauty with the lacquer paint is that you can just spray it, leave it 15 minutes and then carry on. It'll probably get weathered this one at some point, a little bit of weathering required. But as I said, this is just a straight out of the box build. I don't want to do nothing too fancy with it. I wanted to try out the lacquer paint because I've got the whole range of Tamiya lacquer paint that I want to start using. And I, I am a convert to lacquer paints now, I think. I'll be using them a lot more unless they, they haven't got the colour. Um, but there, that's it. I, I've got nothing more else to say. If there's a kit that you've got on your shelf, why don't you go and build it and have a go at it and just come back and let me know how you got on. And if you want to buy the kit, there's a link in the description. So if you go into the description there or in the comments, I'll leave a link for where to buy this kit. And that's basically it. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, 
please subscribe, ring that bell, select all to be notified when I release a new video. If you want to become a channel member like the folks that I'm showing on the screen now, just click the join button and that basically is a, like um, a membership where you pay and uh, as soon as I've got enough members, I'll be doing private live streams and giving away more prizes on the channel for the channel members. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.